Hey, this is Kez Bracey for Tuts Plus. In this video, we are looking at the visual website optimizer from Wingify. Now, the really cool thing about this tool is you can create all the different variations of your site that you need to without actually creating different variations of your site. Now, what I mean by that is you don't have to go and rewrite your HTML, rewrite your CSS, upload all these different versions to your server and have different URLs that you're then routing traffic off to. What you can do instead is just jump into this visual website optimizer and you can point and click and drag and drop and create all the different versions that you need to test right inside the editor. The screenshots of this tool don't really do it justice. You kind of have to see it in action to get an idea of how quick and easy this is to work with. We're going to make a couple little tweaks here on my little demonstration, which puppy is the cutest page. And we'll start by just changing up this blue background color here. Now, there's a lot of study in psychology on the different effects that different colors have on people. And you'll find that some colors will lead to more conversions than others, but you can never really know which color will work because it has to be the right fit for the specific audience for that particular site. So you can see I just clicked the, the blue area here and this little editing window popped up. And from here, I can click Style. And these are all the different attributes that you can change through the editor. Now we are wanting to change the background, so we'll open that up. Here's our background color. So I can just click that. This is going to give me a new pop-up window. And I'm just going to change this to grayscale. Just like that. You can see that updates in real time. And I'll click done. And that's it. Now I can straight away, I can turn this campaign on and I can start tracking the differences, which converts better, blue background or gray background. That's the whole process. It's just done. You just switch the on button from here. Now let's try another couple of little tweaks. Let's say our headline. That's a big one. Headlines, they're your hook, they're your starting point where you get people's attention. So what if we just want to try a slightly different headline? Again, just click the item you want to change. And in this case, we can just go change text. And right here, we can change our headline. So choose the cutest puppy. done. And again, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, we can do also things like changing the background color of our button. So maybe you want to go for, let's say a red color. And maybe we also want to change the text color. Again, super quick and easy. That's a bit garish, so you wouldn't do exactly that, but you get the idea. And you can also change your layout. Now, I have found this is easier to work with layout changes if uh, you're using Flexbox for your columns. If you're using floats, you'll want to get into, there are available float property settings, but you'll probably have to then adjust your margins and, and whatnot. So the easiest way to build a site that's ready to work with Visual Web op Website Optimizer is to do it with Flexbox. So we'll just grab this little guy here and we'll go rearrange. And now we can just, oops, we can just swap them over just like that. Now that is pretty cool. Now what this is actually doing as you're making your changes down here, you've got this little variations tab. And if you, this is the variation that we're working on, variation one. We can, click, we can click this little gear icon and this gives us a list of the changes that we've made so far. So perhaps we want to get rid of the first lot of styling that we did. So now our red button is back to orange. So you can very easily get in there and undo changes that you've made. So now we have our different version of our landing page, we can hit save and continue. And that is ready to go. As soon as you want to turn your campaign on, that's going to start tracking the differences in the results generated from your, your main default design and the variation that you created. And you get a bunch of really cool reports that help you make sense of the, the, the traffic that you're getting. So you've got your detailed reports here. And that will start to 
create a graph giving you comparisons of the different uh, versions of your site that you're running. And this is just a test, so there's no traffic being gathered up here, but you can take a look at the vwo.com website to see some examples of the types of charts that you'll get on a, on a live site. And you also get these heat maps, which are potentially very useful. So I went in earlier and just did some clicking on the button of our little demo page so that you could see the effect that the heat map gives you. And it's going to track every click that you get on your pages that you're running tests on. So you can, you can see where are people exiting your pages? Where are their, where's their attention being drawn to? So you can then work with that information to help make sure that you're getting attention on the part of your page that you really want it to be. So you can see from that, this is a really, really easy tool to use. It took me seconds, literally seconds, not even minutes to create those little changes. And little changes like that, you might think that they don't count for much, but in reality, tiny changes of colors or font sizes or just a couple of words can result in tens of thousands of dollars in increased revenue, depending on the business or the, the website that you're working with. So the account that I'm in here is just a 30-day free trial. So they let you get in and check everything out. You can actually get some information on what your sites are doing before you even pay out. You can use all the tools. They're all accessible. All this is being done without me having paid anything. So you can jump in and try these things out for yourself. Uh, just go to vwo.com slash free trial. And you can get in and have a play with all of these things for yourself. Start creating some different variants of your site and have a look at your traffic, see what your results are.